All right, in this video, we're going to go, uh, go the other way. Instead of going from polar to rectangular, we're going to go from rectangular to the polar form. So I think we can probably do all of these here uh, in, in one video. So let's see, x squared plus y squared equals 1. Well, we saw that x squared plus y squared, um, that's simply the same thing as r squared. So part A is actually very easy. It just says we would get r squared equals positive 1. And, um, you know, I would say I would probably even leave it like that. You could always take the square root of both sides and write it as y equals, well, it would have to be positive or negative 1. Okay, so again, this is kind of one of the interesting things. You know, x squared plus y squared equals 1. This is a circle of radius 1. And r equals positive 1, or equivalently, r equals negative 1 will also both be equations of a circle of radius 1. So much more simple to describe a circle using uh, polar coordinates. So let's do the next one here. Um, so y equals 2x plus 1. So let's see. So we saw that y is going to be r sine theta equals 2 times x is going to be r cosine theta plus 1. Well, all right, so we've got r sine theta equals 2r cosine theta plus 1. And typically what people will do, if it's possible to, sol to solve for r, that's what uh, usually you'll do. You'll have the r isolated, um, and hopefully all the thetas on the other side. So let's see if we can't do that. I'm going to subtract the 1 over to the left side, so that would make the positive 1 to a negative 1. We'll leave the 2r cosine theta alone on the right. I'm going to subtract the r sine theta over. And the reason for doing that is I can factor an r out. So if I pull the r out, we would need 2 cosine theta minus sine theta. And now simply to get the r by itself, we can divide both sides by 2 cosine theta minus sine theta. So we'll be left with negative 1 over 2 cosine theta minus sine theta, and I would say that would be a good place to leave that equation. All right, so I think we've got one more here. So uh, y equals 3 over x. Okay, so y equals 3 over x, not bad. Okay, so again, y is going to be just r sine theta x is r cosine theta. Well, again, technically we've now turned it into a polar equation. Um, I'm going to multiply both sides by r cosine theta. So r cosine theta. So on the left side we would have r times r, which is r squared. Then we have cosine theta times sine theta equals 3. Um, okay, so maybe we could have just left the cosine theta on the bottom. Um, so maybe I'll undo it all, actually. Let's divide both sides by cosine theta, sine theta. So that would give us r squared equals 3 over cosine theta times sine theta. And again, now we've kind of got the r left over by itself. Again, I think I would leave it right there. You could always do what we did a second ago, square root both sides, stick on a positive or a negative, but um, I would say this is how most people would leave it. Um, they would leave the square on there. So that's all there is to it. All you're doing, again, is just making sure that you know these formulas at the beginning, um, you know, these relationships between polar and uh, rectangular uh, equations, coordinates, um, and then it's just you know, again, a lot of these you would only have the cosine theta. Well, I need an r, so what do we do? We would multiply both sides by r and make that appear. And then after that, it's just doing a little bit of algebra and cleaning it up.